hello everyone in this video i am going to show you how to create this cute minion pixel art in the app high paint so i'll be giving step by step instruction also the brush details so what the full video now i'm just opening a screen says canvas in my high paint app First, before doing anything, I am going to create. Uh, uh, I am going to input an image uh, so that I can use as uh, that as a base uh, for my uh, minion. Like uh, no, just I am going to trace this uh, minion actually. So I am just imported using the picture uh, picture import option, and I want this minion. So I'm keeping it at the center using the transform tool place it exactly at the center of the canvas and click this transform tool to release and if you want to erase the uh, unwanted details just use the leaf brush I'm using that brush only leaf eraser sorry and now I'm going to trace this minion so that I can create the uh, pixel art uh, so I am using the ballpoint pen brush from the ink section and make sure you create a new layer above the uh, image layer so this is our image layer and just reducing the opacity of that layer and in the new layer I am going to trace so again you can either do this way or simply start using the pixel brush and draw but uh, drawing above the image uh, you know it's very difficult for me so i just make the trace like a mapping and i will just hide the uh, image layer and using that mapping or tracing details i will uh, draw usually that's my way so you can either do uh, by directly using the picture pixel brush and start drawing otherwise you can trace like me so you can see ball paint paint brush is the great brush for very fine accurate uh, straight brush like this i really love this brush so tracing tracing and if you not getting the shapes properly just make the shape or for example I'm making a straight line then hold if you don't hold it will not automatically uh, recognize the shape uh, it will remain the same shape that you have drawn so if you want to make a straight line just hold like this and when you hold it will start recognizing and create a straight line or whatever you can see now just make a circle randomly and hold so that's how we can create the perfect shape in high paint this is very good uh, thing about the high paint because you don't need to draw everything uh, in your hand um, like using uh, when, when we draw in IBS paint text so IBS paint text usually don't have this shape recognition uh, tool so yeah our tracing is ready now we don't need this uh, image anymore so you can simply hide just drag it down and make sure what are the colors you want and then hide now this layer is going to be at the top so I'm just locking, uh, uh, switching on the lock uh, layer option then using the pixel brush I'm going to start creating the pixel art so this is how the pixel brush looks like now you can see I'm going to use the trace layer as a guide for our artwork Okay, I'm doing it wrong. Just go to the 
this layer and reduce the opacity then lock and come to the bottom layer where we going to create the pixel art and yeah let's start so if you are going to use the same color for the entire shape simply you can create the border line like this and fill the uh, shape with that color using the bucket tool and yeah Other, uh, one more thing is you don't need to do all the color details in a single layer basically I don't prefer that at all if I going to use a different color details big details then I will choose a separate layer instead of drawing everything in the single layer so now just all the yellow parts are in that layer I just filled with the bucket tool but still the ends are in the picture shape now I just create a new layer and using the blue color I'm going to color the cloth details again just using the pixel brush to create the pixel effect at the corners you can see when it comes to a straight line uh, uh, whether it can be a horizontal or vertical it will be like a normal straight line but when you are drawing a curve or something like that different shapes uh, you can see the effect of pixel brush well now you can see I just filled the body and filled with blue color now creating one more layer for the black color in the shoes and hand gloves also the specs So if you drag uh, and hold in the pixel brush, it will be like that. So avoid using this shape presentation for this uh, pixel brush. Now you may feel like uh, the artwork is really messy now, but at the end you will drag, uh, really like this. So have, uh, have patience and keep on watching. Now I'm going to draw the circle. You can either just draw a circle and hold, but I didn't hold. Just making it randomly like this. You can make it similar on both eyes by adding few more pixel details like this. yeah now it looks almost even at the center and hair yeah almost done now we don't need this trace layer anymore Just hide the trace layer if you finished all the details. Okay, now I'm going to create a clipping layer for all the color details separately, like this, and making the blending mode as multi multiply. details so basically for uh, multiply using multiply blending mode uh, I'm going to add the shadow details so what are the dark shade details we have to add we can add on that layer before that I forgot to add the white eyeball so going back to my dress layer which is blue color layer and I'm going to draw the white color circle here Now going back to the clipping layer of my yellow details, face details, just create shadow details like this and you know just by with the basic things like 
uh, under the uh, hands you will have some shadow details dark details uh, where the cloth need uh, skin there we may have a little bit of shadow so consider that things as a, uh, as the shadow and add so and when it comes to face i will keep the uh, left side as a dark and right side as the highlight which means the light is on the right side so in that way almost done okay now now i'm going to create another layer and this is for the highlight so making these as the add blending mode and i'm still using the same color that we used for the face same yellow color i'm using for the shadow or also for the highlight just a change the blending mode so the blending mode really really important to change the appearance of your artwork so you cannot simply rely on uh, the colors uh, like choosing the light color, dark color that is an, um, that you know it cannot depend only on that when it comes to digital or it can be uh, you know practical for normal physical artwork uh, traditional artwork but uh, when it comes to digital blending modes are really important it can make a huge difference in the way your artwork look and here you can see I just added the highlight details in the add blending mode layer. Now in the same way I'm going to add for the dress also for the black color layer. Okay, just creating another clipping layer for first clipping layer for the blue color dress layer and making the blending mode as multiply and using the blue color that we used for the dress so many asked me for uh, slow videos instead of going too fast so i tried my best to keep it slow and clear hope you like this and if so tell me in the comment below also tell me what are the type of um, tutorials you want uh, it can be any app like high paint i base paintex or infinite painter uh, infinite painter i will make a video on that topics that you tell me in the comments and also if you are not following me on instagram please do follow just search the android artist and on instagram and you can find me so if you find you have added very uh, you know more uh, highlight then use the pixel eraser and you can erase like this with the reduced opacity you can create some another color shade using the eraser as well now i'm creating add blending mode layer for the black uh, details you can see black is already dark uh, i almost used the 100% uh, black color so if we don't need any you know shadow for this instead i'm using the hi highlight alone so i just created the add blending mode alone here you can still go for some other colors instead of using the same color to some add you know add some variation in the appearance yeah almost done i hope this pixel art looks unique and creative and beautiful i really like this can see the details really well also this brush is really really cool i love this brush also 
I will make more pixel art video in the future I hope so because I really like this brush so I'm just planning to create a scenery using the pixel art uh, I mean pixel brush and uh, few more things using this brush let's see so adding some shadow for the eyeball now done so now you can save this as jpg and png for saving as jpg you don't need anything just click as jpg and if you want to save the png switch off the background make it as a transparent and then click on the png now i will show you the final look wow my cute minion i really love this pixel art hope you like this as well so the hair is not visible in this png but yeah th this looks better so thank you for watching tell me in the comments below what are the things you want me to learn thank you for watching bye